Hey guys, my name is Melissa. I am coming to you from CA House Music. I am the business development advertising manager here. Um, and today I am going to show you guys some of the basics about uh, my pedal harp. Um, first off though, I feel like it's really important for me to point out, you know, since I'm coming to you right before Christmas, um, my sweater that I'm wearing, it is Santa riding a stegosaurus. So uh, you're welcome for that. I just thought it definitely needed mentioning. All right, so moving on, <laughs> we'll get into the, the, the basics of the pedal harp. Um, I started playing in high school. I also stopped playing in high school, so if you can, um, you know, not be too nitpicky on the technical uh, expertise of this, um, you know, playing and hand positioning and all, um, these are just the basics that I'm gonna show you. Okay, so first off, um, uh, where I like to start is how the heck do you even know what it is that you're playing on the harp? So if you'll look here and see the strings, they're actually color coded. So you know, you know, where you are on the harp with the strings. So um, the C's are red, and if you see that, and then you always want a damper in between. Um, and then the black is F. Okay, and then you can kind of, um, obviously, if you're playing, you can tell from the C and the F, you know, where all the other notes are. So, um, so we'll, I guess, move on to the next concept, which is, um, you know, the, the pedal harp in and of itself. So there are, um, the pedal harp is considered a step up um, for more advanced players from the pedal harp, from the um, lever harp or the troubadour harp. Um, now on the troubadour harp, um, where you have, um, if you see here, you'll see these, these little um, gadgets, these little levers here. Um, on the lever harp, you have an actual push lever. Um, and when you push the lever up, it sharps the note. So that's why there's a lot of special music written for um, the lever harp or the troubadour harp is because changing keys in the middle of a song um, is a real pain because you have to go through really fast and like sharp and um, lever every single octave um, of the you know of the new key that you're in so um, I was pretty excited when I moved into the pedal harp because it's much easier to change keys in the middle of your song so to change or to sharp or flatten in for a note on the pedal harp, um, and we'll just go with C because it's easy to see. Um, you need to pick, you have your, um, your notes here. You need to pick the corresponding pedal down at the bottom. So there are seven pedals down here, um, and it's D, C, B, E, F, G, A. So I need to, and this becomes muscle memory after a while, um, not so much for me anymore, um, but I'm gonna sharp C. So to sharp, I push the pedal, and this is where we are. So I sharp it, I push my pedal down and over, and it sharps it. Now to flat it, I release my pedal up. So here, and then I release my pedal up, and that flats it. And so if you take a look, when I sharp, this bottom lever here turns and it sharps the note up. And when I flat it, this top lever up here turns and flats the note. Um, all right, and so that's you know how you change keys, how you sharp a note, um, do any accidentals. Um, and you do have to be really careful in the middle of your song because, um, and that's why you'll see harpists playing and then dampering like this, and then they damper, is because if you play and don't damper, you get that buzz. So if you play, damper, you don't get as much of it. Um, so you'll see good harpists in orchestras. <laughs> They'll play and then they'll damper and they'll play and they'll damper and then they'll change keys if they need to. Um, so there's that. Um, we can move on to hand position now. Um, my teacher would always, um, you know, hand position is very important. She would always tell me, don't have a dying swan because when you play and you lift, 
gift, you don't want to come away with a dying swan. You don't want to play like that. So you want to, and I'm going to, my hands are small, so it's a little harder for me to get that whole octave. So I'm just going to do the fifth here. So you always want to make sure that your hand stays steady. No dying swans for us. <laughs> and when I was learning hand position, um, you don't want to have your fingers pressed like this. You want to make sure that your hand is turned out to, to the degree where you could balance um, a coin right here. So I would practice, um, and this was always really nerve wracking because if a coin falls off your hand and it dings your harp, your parents get upset. So you want to make sure that you keep your hand position correct. So I have a guitar pick here. Um, and you want to place it right there, and then you want to make sure. And the coin has a little more weight, so it doesn't move as much. It's a little easier to work with, but I did not have one handy. And there we go. It flipped right off. <laughs> but that's the general idea, is that you need to be able, you need to keep your hand in this position. And don't dying swan as you leave the strings. Um... That's, that's pretty much the very, very basics of the pedal harp. Um, you know, it's, it's a really beautiful instrument, um, and it takes a lot of work and time and commitment, um, just like really any instrument, um, to master. Um, the nice thing about playing the harp, while it is, you know, it's a monetary commitment. Um, there aren't that many harp teachers. Harps are expensive inherently. Um, but also, you know, especially in our area, and I'm, you kind of corner the market uh, as a harpist. Um, and you know, for weddings and, and gigs, you can charge higher rates because of that. Um, so, you know, we, I always say, because we do get calls occasionally, people interested in playing the harp, I always say, you know, don't, don't start on the harp would be my recommendation. I would always get, I would get that um, music basic, like the, the technical stuff, the music, um, reading music, you know, treble um, versus bass clef, you know, being able to, to um, have that music bass really will help you master a different instrument um, faster. So I always recommend, you know, start with piano. Um, and then if you, you know, decide you want to move into the harp, um, I would get that bass first and then move into the harp, um, which is what I did. And it was extremely helpful for me um, with that transition. So um, I will play you guys the just the very basic opening chords of Pachelbel's Canon in D. Um, I apologize for this because it's probably not going to be great, but... Um, and then, obviously, when you play the harp, you don't lean up to the harp. You lean the harp back on you. Um, and so, lean the harp back, always want it on the shoulder. And you want to make sure you're comfortable because you're going to be in this position for a while. Um, so, I'm sharpening my C and my F here. Okay. little out of tune which is something I didn't touch on so tuning the harp is a pain it's an absolute pain in the butt and you are supposed to do it very very frequently um, but if you see there are um, on the other side of the harp away from this part on the other side there um, there are tuning pegs for every single string um, so what you have to do is you have to stand up and visually look down from the top and make sure you're matching up the tuning peg that matches with the string. I cannot, and this is what's happened with this string here, I can't tell you how many times I have been tuning a, pe tuning a string, tuning a string, and the string's not moving, and I'm, why isn't this working, why isn't this working, and then the string next to it snaps. 
um, because you've put too much tension on the string next to it because you were winding the wrong tuning peg. Um, but you're supposed to tune this thing probably once a week uh, at the least. I'm not great at keeping up on that. Mm -hmm. um, but um, yeah, that's the general principle. Um, so anyway, this is the pedal harp. Um, thank you for listening to the very basics. Um, and uh, yeah, Merry Christmas and um, Santa's riding a stegosaurus. <laughs>